down here, uh, downtown Portland, uh, out, outside the rear of the State Justice Center. Uh, we're going to be checking out the downtown area in the condition that it is in currently, trying to focus on damage related changes. So yeah, I do have my buddy Eric here and he's going to be flying some drone footage while we walk around downtown and then we're going to make a compilation. I'm going to be strolling around. Uh, you know, if there's something that you want to see specifically, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get to everything. So, all right, let's, uh, we're going to go, we're, we're on um, second and main right now. So we're going to go up, up main street and then we're going to go ahead and spin around the justice center in the light. And then we'll go on the outskirts of the justice center and then kind of stroll around downtown a little bit. So, all right, all right. let's do it. All right, you ready? Yep. We do have some officers standing outside the State Justice Center. There looks to be about six of them. Okay, so I didn't really show this building right here, but so this is uh, the south side of the federal courthouse. There seems to be a lot of graffiti, broken glass uh, over in front of this door right here. There's paint on the windows. It seems like the, the state, state justice center is pretty cleaned up. They, uh, they've removed pretty much the majority of the graffiti. The wood is staying all boarded up like. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Uh, yeah, see it's all cleaned up. Hey. Yeah, but they paint it pretty much every day. State Justice Center is all painted up. Yeah, the, the graffiti is uh, pretty much all removed, it looks like. They've definitely stayed on it since the beginning. Always cleaning it up. Always repainting. Yeah, and here's the the front and center of the Justice Center. Yep. Here's a street view. Huh? Uh, we, I don't know the facts, I'm sorry. But yeah. So, yeah, what I see at the park is there's, the, all the benches are removed, the monument has been removed. There's a little bit of, the trash cans have been removed. I, yeah, it looks like they took out a lot of landscaping, yeah. This is uh, 120 Southwest 3rd Ave, downtown Portland. Um, I mean, it might be a tripping hazard if they're trying to do some form of dispersal or sweep, I imagine. No graffiti in sight on this side. You can tell that things have been removed, but it honestly looks like the people who are doing the removing do a really good job. Yeah, and here's the opposing side. It looks like there's a very small amount of graffiti. If anything, it looks like the graffiti was done with mud. Yeah, it looks like uh, this, that wall just looks hella dirty. It doesn't look like graffiti. Um, yeah, this building is boarded up pretty good. All the graffiti is pretty much removed. 
pretty much, I mean, it is removed. I don't really see any graffiti. Yeah, this is the, the backside of the federal courthouse. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. There's some graffiti on the federal building. Do you have your cable with you? I have a, yeah, so this, this, I'm making this video to show people what downtown looks like. It, most of the footage that you see every night is of some ag aggression and violence and things getting destroyed and, you know, it's really, it's really important to show what the, the truth is of what ha is happening down here and for you to make your own judgment. Personal opinion, I really think so far everything that's down here can be fixed pretty easily. I mean, it's going to take a lot of man hours, of course, but it, I just I don't see any real permanent damage thus far. You know, I could be corrected later if I see some something that clearly can't be fixed. I mean, I know that the the Elk Monument can't really be fixed, though. At the same time, but, you know, I don't know what the validity is to the reason why they took it down in the first place. But it could, they could be completely right and saying the cement has stress fractures due to heat and it could be a dangerous situation. Well, they're saying that there's the heat that from the fires would ca cause stress fractures. This is uh, in front of the, the federal courthouse. Um, yeah, the stress fractures would, could like, I don't know why they were such an issue, but I guess it's, it's dangerous and a, and a liability to the city is what they were saying. This is, uh, the federal courthouse. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is the place that is probably the most tore up out of the, the entire city right now. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, especially graffiti. Can it over? Yeah, this, uh, this is where the Elk Monument was. Seems we have some artists out here. A bunch of easels. Okay, let's do a, a little bit more outskirts. Do you, I don't know if you want to set up your drone at all. Or? Uh, the Can you explain the monument? Yeah. The elk monument? Yeah. Uh, why, it, why it was an elk? I have no idea. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, um, you know, I'll be sure to do my research as much, as much as possible, but I've just been so occupied with everything that's happening. Um, yeah. Please check it out, fact check, and make sure you know what's up before spreading this information. I'm gonna try to spread the facts. That's what helps people learn. Unfortunately, people don't really do their own research, so it spreads like wildfire no matter what it is. You're gonna hit the slider on the right, the orange slider, and put it up. I always thought this area was really pretty over here. It's a cool little gathering style park area. Looks like People can sit down in kind of an amphitheater, kind of. We're gonna get a, a drone set up, and we'll we'll keep on chugging. Here, I'll take a I'll take my phone though, since you'll have your hands busy. The building that is directly in front of us, this really tall one, that is also a federal building. To our immediate left, which is now center in the camera, that is the State Justice Center. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to read comments too much. Hopefully, you just kind of get what you're looking for. I'm gonna walk up there real quick, and then I'll, I'll come back this way. The federal courthouse that most people have been in front of trying to get the fed, feds to leave. Okay, so this this federal building in front of me, currently this one, is the Edith Green Wendell something. Wendell something federal building. 
This park is the Terry D. Shrunk Plaza, Mayor of Portland, 1957 to 1973. Mm. I'll go around. Go ahead and touch this block while he's getting ready. This is, uh, we're coming up on Jefferson Street right now. The feds have a, a modern sculpture all wrapped up so that nobody can get to it right there. Everything on this side looks pretty much standard. I don't see graffiti, I don't see any damage. I know that there's some parking garages down there with some construction going on. Beautiful day out today. It is gorgeous. Perfect temperature. Humidity's not that bad. The lighting's great. It's a nice change of pace for the type of scenery that I've been seeing down here. I don't see anything that's affected this way. There is some fencing around the Wells Fargo Center. I'm not sure what that entails, if it's for protection or if they have something going on. This is another government building. No, this is City Hall. That's right. This is City Hall. Boarded up. A new camera was put in place. Two new cameras put in place. I was here when the protesters took down that camera that you see right there. And they also took down the other side. There's some broken glass right there. It's just a little spider web. We have some chalk. Sure you can't read upside down, so it says. Uh, I'm not even sure what that says. I need to do a little bit more repair. Oh, is it not working out right? Well, I just don't trust it. Okay, well, you can just control around with me if you want. Cool. Yeah, risks are a part of adventure, though. Getting the good, getting the good oh, shots. Know, So now we are on, uh, this is Maine. So this is, uh, this is Madison and Forth. Uh, all the glass on the building in front of us is intact. I don't see any cracks or spider webbing. <laughs> 